only thing I can get was blue pants. We're, we're cool with that. We're cool with that. Switching it up a little bit. Is it nice to just have some options finally? Like Yeah, it's definitely nice. I mean, I get to ask the guys if they want to rock, and we kind of try to put our little, our little flavor on it. So. And I guess when you score 60, Coach is like, whatever y'all want. I mean, I don't think he really cares in the first <laughs> <laughs> So I was talking about the second half of the Duke game last year. He said everything that happened was self-inflicted. Is that the way you looked at it? Um, yeah, I don't think we were executing as well as we were in the first half. Um, I think it was just the little things that were eating us up, and we just didn't move the ball as well. You know that staff. You were recruited by them, and they were – one of your final schools, I imagine, given what happened last year, that this is one of the games probably before the season you thought about a little bit going into it, want to, to kind of exact some revenge? Uh, not really. I mean, I, wouldn't, I didn't really think too far ahead about it. But, uh, I mean, it's definitely one of those games I want to get back because I know we didn't play too well in the second half last year. So uh, definitely looking forward to this year, just trying to go out and just have fun with it and just fly around. After the Clemson game, Coach Johnson said he's going to be more involved coaching the quarterbacks. What has he done, and how has that helped in these past two weeks? Um, he's just been focusing on us getting downhill and making sure that we're pitching the ball when we should pitch it, we're keeping the ball when we should keep it. And I mean, I think that kind of showed up at, at Louisville on Friday night. Uh, I was able to get downhill on a lot of, a lot of times where I probably would have tried to stretch it a little bit more. Um, and it kind of opened things up where I was able to pitch the ball and. It, created a lot of separation for the guys on the perimeter. So I think that's one of the things that's just trying to, that's translating over into the games. Has that continued his, his level of involvement with you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's about the same. I mean, he, he's coaching us up every, each and every day. What's the confidence level like now after the last couple of games, especially on offense? It's really high. I mean, it's kind of hard to be down on that. Um, I mean, I think everyone expects expects it to happen now that we know that we can do it. So uh, the confidence is very high. I mean, guys are going to be locked in on Saturday and ready to play. It seems like your legs are kind of back to where you probably wanted them before the season in terms of being healed up. And it kind of showed in the Louisville game. It seemed like you were running better than you had probably since the first week. Is that kind of your assessment? Yeah. Um, I told Coach uh, before the game, I said uh, it's probably the best my, my body's felt since week one. Um, especially with being banged up a little bit on the lower end. But, uh, yeah, I felt pretty good. Friday, I think I was missing a step sometimes. Uh, when we watched film today, I was telling Teal, I said, yeah, that's the old corn right there. I said, I, I need to get back to that. But um, I thought there was a couple that I probably could have broke that I did it. So. Coach talked about his Georgia, Georgia Southern offenses. When they got to October, uh, you know, teams had to be wary, you know, because they started really playing fast. Do you feel like you guys are progressing towards that? That type of offense now? Yeah, I mean, I think we're really clicking right now. I think everything's going the way we want it to go. Uh, I think everyone knows what they're doing. We're keeping it really simple right now, so it's kind of hard to mess it up. Um, but the missed assignments are down each and every week, so as long as that keeps going down and guys are just playing hard because, I mean, the effort's there, that's not the problem. As long as that keeps happening each and every week, I think we'll be completely fine. I guess it helps when the offensive line gets over here, you guys on the ground, too. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, I was pretty shocked at that number, but they were getting guys down. Even the guy, the the skilled guys. I mean, they were cutting guys left and right. Regarding yeah. okay. these sixty plus point games, is that like a standard now for <laughs> you guys? Now that it's happened a couple of times? No, definitely not standard. The standard is to have more points than other teams, so that we can go in the locker room and celebrate. <laughs> Regarding the offense being simplified, what in that kind of realm of things has helped you the most? Mm, just everyone being on the same page. I think sometimes it can be really confusing when um, guys aren't on the same page, and when and when that happens, miscues happen. So I think just simplifying it down and just actually knowing, okay, on this play, you know what you have to do, and you do what you're supposed to do. Then I think it makes everything easier on everyone else. On that end, um, over the past two weeks, you've definitely been. Uh, successful making the right reads, making the right pitches. Has that been uh, a key factor in the simplification of the offense? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's part of the offense. Uh, I mean, it's definitely been a lot easier. Um, so, I guess so. In terms of the quality of defensive opponent, it's going to step up quite a bit this week. Probably the second best defensive team you'll face so far. 
I imagine you're kind of curious to see, to gauge also kind of where y'all are at against a team that has a pretty good defense. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's probably the best, second best defense since Clemson. Um, so I'm really excited to see how guys are going to come out and play. Um, I know I'll be ready to play. I'm sure everyone else will. So uh, it'll be an exciting game. Coach Shots was saying that he thought you were trying to do too much. Is that something you think you felt? Early on in yeah, the season? Yeah. Um, maybe so. Just trying to make too many things happen. Um, I think I've calmed down a little bit. My nerves are down a little bit more. Yeah. So just trying to go out and have fun and play because my last go around. So. Right. How did that kind of manifest itself trying to do too much? Is it, it was just keeping the ball or is it doing other things? That, mm. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, I can't remember that far back. But uh, <laughs> I, it was probably just trying to trying to do too, just do too much. Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever that means. But, uh, yeah, I've kind of simplified it down now. Does it mean a little bit more this being like your senior homecoming to you? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> homecoming is for the fans and for the student section. To me, it's just another game that we need to win. Did you put a lot of pressure on yourself after last season coming into this year? Do you think you felt that at all? Mm, not really. I didn't really put too much pressure on myself. I mean, I think maybe I, I felt the pressure from everyone else outside of the team just because um, maybe the expectation was high because of some of the numbers that I put up last year. Mm -hmm. So maybe that could have been it, but I didn't really put too much pressure on myself. Have you remained in your social media blackout? Yeah, I actually, um, I got it back for the weekend. I uh, went out of town, so I got it back for the weekend just to check up on things. But as soon as Sunday came, deleted, so. <laughs> well, I did post, I posted something on my, my Insta story, so that's about it. But other than that. Talk about you guys and how you've been able to capitalize your opportunities in the red zone. Has it gotten better each game? Yeah, um, we really emphasize on it in the huddle when we're, when we're getting close, um, especially when we're in the red zone. Um, everybody's in the huddle saying, like, hey, we got to get in, like, we need these points. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll settle for three, but we always want seven when we're down there. So um, that's one of the things that we really harp on in the huddle when we're inside the 20 or getting close to the 20. Like, hey, we need to get points here.